Schminke being 141 years old has a lot of partnerships that last for decades. And that is especially with the pigment manufacturers. Um, you have to see that some standard pigments like uh, titanium white or a standard ultramarine, they come from large chemical companies and most companies are sourcing them from these companies. Um, but what is so unique about uh, Schminke that there are some pigments which we source from very, very small companies throughout Europe. Uh, there are some violets from France, there are some earth colors, some, some siennas, burnt umber from Italy. And we have relations that, that go back to many, many years. So we know that we can rely on these companies. We know the people are, and, and the families. But of course, there are a few pigments which we buy also from distributors where we don't know where they come from at the end. So we always ask uh, them to sign a code of conduct, a code of ethics, so that we know we are on the safe side. Uh, the topic whether we shall use for the watercolor oxgall in the future is, is also on our mind. Um, oxgall today has, or today uh, since 1881, has a special function as it improves the flow, reduces the surface tension of the paint. And um, it also is that oxgall in the 140 horadam colors, for each pigment it has a different amount. So it is a, it's part of the recipe with a clear function. And everyone wants to have their colors in the format they are used to. So to change that would be a huge project. And uh, it is on our mind and we are currently evaluating uh, if we are working on that issue. And uh, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's on our agenda. This is a development that is uh, very tight between marketing and lab. So the lab have ideas, they, they find new pigments. Marketing has ideas, for example, they said we have to go into liquid watercolor and we throw the ideas together in a brainstorming. And then this is a very long process because for testing, uh, testing the pigments and especially testing the light fastness, which you can only find out after months or even years. So that's a lengthy process. But we have always a few projects in the pipeline and it's the idea to, to currently have some new products. During the time when Schminke was founded in 1881, uh, there were some other companies taking a bird as a symbol. Uh, there was, for example, Pelican, or there was uh, Marabu. So the Schminke owners uh, and the, the founders, Mr. Schminke and Mr. Horadam, wanted to take a very wise animal. So they picked the owl and uh, even put the, the, the mission statement, I would say, uh, which, is, which is still important for us today, Meliora Cogito, I strive for the best into the logo. Um, the owl changed a bit over time, so it had different looks, uh, but there is always the owl to be found on any Schminke product. When I started at Schminke, we had the two artists working for Schminke, and this was the marketing department. So these two artists were traveling around uh, Germany, around the world, and demonstrating the colors. And there were 20 people, 50 people, a good number of people coming to the stores and to the places where they were demonstrating the colors and have been looking at that. So uh, today, uh, what these demonstrators have done in the past is done through social media, through videos, through web communication. So in that way, there have been a lot of changes. And of course, by the new media, much more people uh, can, be, can be reached and can, can find out and learn about the colors. Another aspect is that uh, the companies, uh, the, not the companies, the colors today and sets become much more individual. 
That means that uh, Jackson's wants to have a special set with a few color shades. Uh, then another customer wants to have something with just blues, for example. So today it is getting getting uh, the, 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 the products that are on offer become wider and uh, are more specialized and individualized. Well, it's the goal to, uh, to make all colors and special editions available in, in all countries. I think that is uh, today achieved by companies that deal through the web and send products out uh, to all countries. And, uh, but we have also a local partner in Mexico. So that's the idea to make art available and special colors available to the world.